Hi, kindergartners. Welcome, or if this is your first time, welcome to our lesson. We're so excited you're here. Hi, kindergartners. Welcome back to Making Meaning Lesson. My name is Mrs. Wheeler, and I teach kindergarten at Hazel Wolf K-8. Hi, my name is Miss Choi, and I also teach kindergartners at Hazel Wolf K-8. I'm so excited to see you today in this video. Yeah, guess what? In the videos this week, you get two teachers, Ms. Wheeler and Ms. Choi. So exciting. So you're going to see both of us doing different parts throughout the lesson. We want to tell you some of the things you're going to need, or maybe you're going to see. You're going to need your brain, so get your brain ready to do your best thinking. We might stop and ask you to do some thinking during our lesson. We might hold up a sign like this that says, think time. Now, Ms. Choi, what are they going to do when they see this think time sign? What are kindergartners supposed to do? So you're going to stop and you're going to think. You're going to spend the time to think about your ideas and thoughts to share with your partners. We also may ask you to turn and talk to your partner, just like we do in the classroom. And you might see a sign like this. But wait a minute, we're not in the classroom and I don't have a partner. Ms. Choi, what can they do? Mrs. Willer, you can bring your stuffies and then you can share with your stuffies. Or you can talk to your maybe. Mm -hmm. And then you can talk to your family member or siblings, or you can talk to your pet, or even you can talk to yourself. Or the last thing you can talk, you can pretend calling to Mrs. Villa and Miss Choi. But it's most important, students, that you are comfortable talking in whatever language you feel your best that you can do your talking in. So you might talk in English, like I'm comfortable talking in English with my family at home. Ms. Choi, what about you? What language are you most comfortable talking in? I use Korean in my home and I talk to my family member in Korean. So I'll speak and share my ideas in Korean while I do the turn and talk in this lesson. Yep. It's super important that you're talking about what you're learning and what you're reading. So make sure you're talking with your family members. All right. Are you guys ready? You ready? Okay. And to get started, we're going to jump right into our lesson and you're going to see both of us. Okay, here we go, kindergartners. Okay, I'll see you in the next slide. All right, readers, it's time for making meaning lesson. Are you ready? If you're ready, give me a high five. Great. Readers, so for today's making meaning lesson, we're going to talk about some books that we've read in the past few weeks. Remember, readers, for the past several weeks, we have been hearing and talking about nonfiction books, about many different topics, remember? Yes, this week we read a book about dolphins, and we also read about tiger cub, a tiger cub grows up. We also read a book called Tools, right? So these are the books, these are nonfiction books that we read for the past few weeks, and there are more nonfiction books that we read, right? And remember, readers, nonfiction books give true information about real things. So, readers, what do you like about reading and hearing nonfiction books? What do you like about hearing and reading nonfiction books? Turn and talk. Readers, I heard readers say that you like to learn new information about things and learn fun facts about some topics in the nonfiction books. I agree. And I just heard other readers said that we can get more information from different resources in nonfiction books. They remember that they looked at some pages or the parts in the book like glossary page or index, but we also looked at the diagrams to help us to understand the information, remember? Great. Oh, here readers, here are some more books that we've read before. Let's see what we read. Oh, I remember we read Brave Bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also read Cookie Sweet when we were back in the school. Oh, and I also remember this book. I was so mad. Do you remember this book? Yeah. So these are the books. These are fiction books that you have heard before. And remember, fiction books have made up characters or stories. So readers, what do you like about reading and hearing fiction books? 
What do you like about hearing and reading fiction books? Turn and talk. Okay, readers, let's come back. Ooh, I heard readers saying that they like fiction books because they have some fun stories. And I also heard that you like made up stories from the fiction book that are not real. And oh, I also, also heard that you like to see different characters and see the stories in characters' perspective in each fiction book. Thank you for sharing. So readers, which one do you like reading better, fiction or non-fiction book, and why? So which do you like reading better, fiction or non-fiction book, and why? Let's think. Let's come back. Ooh, I heard that you said you like non-fiction books better because you like to learn new things. Oh, and I heard that you like fiction books better because you like stories with animals that can talk. Oh, and I also hear another reader saying that they like fiction books better because the pictures can be really funny. And oh, I also heard another reader saying that they like fiction books better, non-fiction books better because they give true information. All right, readers. So we just talked about which one you like it better. So when you talk about things one thing more than another, we are giving an opinion, right? Or telling what you like or what you think about something. And readers, you might have different opinions about the same topic and that is fine, right? What is important is that you explain your thinking. All right, readers, now we're going to write an opinion about which one you like better, fiction or nonfiction. Okay, and watch me what I do first before writing on the paper. So I'm thinking first, I think first. I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking, I like fiction books better than nonfiction books. One reason I like fiction book better is because I like the picture what the characters are doing in the story. So I'll write down, I like fiction books better than non-fiction books. I like fiction books better than non-fiction books and period. So, hmm, I like to picture in my mind what's happening in the story. And another reason I like fiction book is because I like, I think the made up story is fun to read, right? So I'll write, I like made of stories are fun to read. I think made of stories are fun to read. So I think made up stories are fun to read and I'll end my piece by writing I like fiction books the best. I like fiction books the best. Here, so now I finished my writing piece over here. And now I'm gonna draw to illustrate my drawing. So 
Remember, readers, you will have to write your own opinions first and then write, draw your writing on the top, okay? So here, I'm going to draw myself reading my favorite fiction book. So here. Smiling, and I'm reading my favorite fiction book. There. And now I'm outside reading my book, so I'm gonna draw more details. I'm gonna draw a grass. Then also I'm gonna draw some flowers. And then I'm gonna draw some clouds. And I'll, I'll just put some more fiction books right next to me. Yeah. So now it is your turn. Remember, you will write down your own opinions about which type of books you like better, fiction or nonfiction, and then you're going to draw to illustrate your writing. But remember, when you write down your opinion, make sure to put at least one reason to support your opinion, okay? And then draw a picture to illustrate your writing. Okay, now it's your turn. Hi, kindergartners. It's day three of our vocabulary this week, and it's time for a review day, and then I have a kind of a fun game to play with us, okay? All right, let's quickly review the four words that we learned this week. I'm gonna to point to it. I wanna hear you say the word after me and then we'll review what it means. Okay, here we go, ready? Describe. Remember when you describe something, you tell someone about it. You might tell how it looks, tastes, smells, or acts. They're describing the flowers. The flower is yellow, they're describing it. Okay, ready, next one. Pointy. Something that is pointy has a sharp tip. If something is pointy, it might hurt you if you touch it, like the needle or the claw or a pencil. Pointy has a sharp tip. When you touch, you might say, ooh, ow, this pointer is not pointy, it's not sharp. Okay, next one. Yeah. Diet. Diet is what a person or animal usually eats or drinks. Like a cow eats grass. We shared what our diet is, what we normally eat. Okay, last word that we learned, let's review. Playful. Playful. When you're feeling playful, you are happy and full of energy. You're ready to play and have fun. These kids are ready to play a game of tag. They're ready to have fun. They're full of energy. All right. We have these four words. Describe, pointy, diet, playful. We're going to play a game called Would You? And I'm going to ask you some questions. And you're going to turn and talk when it's time with your family member, your stuffy or your pet, or to Mrs. Wheeler or Miss Choi. And you're going to share, would you or would you not? So it's gonna look like this. You might use this to help you. You might say, I would, and then tell your partner you're thinking. Or you might say, I would not, and tell your partner you're thinking. Okay, are you ready for the first one? You kind of might have to make a little picture in your mind, visualize, okay, ready? Would you describe a piece of paper by saying that is a sphere. Remember we learned sphere, it means round like a ball. So would you describe a piece of paper by saying it is a sphere? Why or why not? Here's your prompt. Go ahead, turn and talk. I 
hear you sharing. I would not describe a piece of paper as a sphere because it's flat. Look, here's a piece of paper right here. It's flat. It is not round like a ball. A piece of paper is not. I would not describe it as a sphere. Okay, are you ready? Think about this word pointy. Would you touch an animal covered in pointy spikes? Why or why not? Use your prompt, turn and talk. Oh, I heard some of you talking about pointy. I heard some kindergartners share, I would touch an animal covered in spikes just gently or carefully. But some of you said, I would not touch an animal covered in pointy spikes because it would hurt. I might poke myself. Wow, okay, here's the next word to think about. Are you ready? Diet, think about this word, diet. Would you say that apples are a part of your diet? Why or why not? Turn and talk. I heard some of you share that you would say apples are part of your diet. You eat them almost every day. Some of you also shared, I would not say apples are part of my diet because I don't really eat them very much. That was about our diet, what we eat or drink. Okay, here's the last one. Think about this word here, playful. Would you be playful if you're feeling sleepy and weak? Remember we learned the word weak, it means not strong. Would you be feeling playful if you were feeling sleepy and weak? Why or why not turn and talk? I hear so many of you sharing. I would not be feeling playful if I were sleepy because when you're playful, you're full of energy. And when you're sleepy, you're not full of energy. Great work, kindergartners on our vocab. Give me a high five. Hope you couldn't see my high five. Try again, there we go. All right, let's quickly review our words. I'm gonna point to a word and I wanna hear you shout the word at me nice and loud. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, pointy. Playful. Describe. Diet. Nice work, kindergartners. All right, see you later, bye. And here's a quick reminder of online reading resources. You can visit Seattle Public School website, then you can select Student Family Portal, and then click on Academic Tools to get more books. So you can go to Seattle Public Schools website, or you can go to Seattle Public Library, or there is Pebble Go, or you can go to Tumble Books to get more books to read. Or there is another online reading website. You can go to Scholastic Learn at Home, or you can go to Storyline Online. All right, kindergartners, thanks so much for spending the day with us learning and thinking about books and using text features and learning what was surprising and wondering, wow, you did so much work today. Yeah, nice job, kindergartners. I'm so proud of you, you did it great whole body listening and part of the video and I'm so excited and ready to see you in the next video. Yep. All right. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.